but how would you grade him for like well, one point seven? Well, great. Only thing was when when he had to fight with uh with uh Spence and he had the Thurman fight. You know, it could have went either way, and then I mean, not Spence, uh, Thurman and um Porter. And then just actually, you're like the perfect person to ask. How do you see that fight going down? They're all talking about it happening in about November ish. Spence, 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 Spence versus Crawford. Yeah. Listen, man. Like I told Spence at the fight when he was sitting next to Danny at the fight with uh Davis, Davis fight. Mm -hmm. Like I told Spence, I won't take no 50 50. He got to come over to PVC. Because you got to understand, Chance Crawford can't sell tickets. And that's what said by his promotion said. I'm not talking, I'm just saying what they say. I wasn't there, so I'm not a witness to that. But they say he can't sell tickets. Okay, he's a great fighter at the, at the end of the day. But he need guys like Dan, he need guys like Spence. But in terms Because he fought Porter on his way out the door. But in terms and Porter was already beat up. But in, in terms of the actual matchup, though, like how would Listen, you see that playing? That fight should happen because the people want it. Of course. Besides but, the point, but, Spence but, don't need him. But, but, I'm, but I'm asking you, like, like who, who would you lean towards in that fight? Who would I lean to? None of them. Topic that I just stumbled across. With Angel Garcia, man, this is Angel the drunk, Angel the the dope head, Angel the meth head Garcia. Man, what's wrong with this guy, man? This guy is full of full of drugs. That's what he is, full of drugs. You smoking some real good dope over there, boy? Cause you show sure was sweating in that video. Stop it. Say no to drugs. Bro. The offer presented by Moretti Juni phone call with Angel. $3 million guaranteed, plus upside of the pay-per-view revenue. The plan was for Crawford Garcia to headline Top Rank's first pay-per-view show on ESPN. Of course, Garcia is aligned with PBC, meaning he fights exclusively on Showtime and Fox. It was a total professional discussion, Moretti recalled. He said he was discussing with Danny, never heard back. I appreciate him taking the call. I think the door is always open. Absolutely. Now, oh, I was itching. I was fiending. I was fiending to go off on this drunk, right? So it's funny that this interview, or not an interview, but this rant of Terrence Ball Crawford going off on, on Angel Garcia, calling him a meth head and calling him a drunk, this was like four years ago, right? This was four years ago Terrence Ball Crawford responded to him, right? And I could have tell in that interview that Mr. Angel Garcia was intoxicated, right? He was absolutely intoxicated. The shit that he was saying did not make any sense, right? And you could tell that he seen this interview by Terrence Ball Crawford. That's why this man was mad. Because in that interview, Angel Garcia was asked, right? What would happen in the fight between Terrence Ball Crawford and Spence? And this man just went on a rant, right? He said, well, well, I told Spence that don't ever take 50-50 um, with Terrence Ball Crawford because Terrence Ball Crawford doesn't sell tickets, right? Uh, and I'm not saying this. This is what his promoter said. And, and Terrence Ball Crawford needs um, fighters like Danny Garcia and he needs fighters like, like Spence because Sean Porter was beat up and, 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 and Sean Porter wasn't the same fight. So this man just said, He's repeating what he heard and then said Sean Porter wasn't the same fighter and Sean Porter was beat up, right? So you basically are saying that you heard that shit and you're saying what you heard. So whatever Angel Garcia had to say in that interview, he was fucking intoxicated, right? He was fucking drunk, bro. He was drunk. Number one, you could tell he has some hate in his heart for Terrence Ball Crawford. Why the fuck are you saying that Terrence Ball Crawford can't sell tickets? That had nothing to do with the outcome of that fight. What you think your prediction about that fight? That has nothing to do with Terrence Ball Crawford being able to sell tickets. That has nothing to do with what anything that Bob Arum said. It has nothing to do with Sean Porter. It had nothing to do with that. So you witness this drunk ass motherfucker is talking out his ass, but as I just read to you guys, right? This is an article from a couple years ago when this motherfucker, Angel Garcia, was offered a fight, right? To fight Terrence Ball Crawford for $3 million, and this man denied the fucking fight. Mind you, this motherfucker had just lost to Keith Thurman and had just lost to Sean Porter, right? And he just turned down 
three million dollars plus pay-per-view against to fight Terrence Ball Crawford. But look how much this motherfucker earned to fight Sean Porter. Porter made one million dollar purse. Garcia made one point two million dollar purse. So I know y'all motherfuckers love talking about oh these the PBC fighters they make a lot of money on the back end. Sean Porter and Danny Garcia are not fucking superstars. No one knows Danny Garcia. No one knows Sean Porter. So you just imagine how much the back end was. And does the back end surpasses $3 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view revenue? Do you guys believe that bullshit? Mind you. This offer was right after Danny Garcia lost to Sean Porter. He already had a loss to Keith Thurman. So do you think that Danny Garcia purse increased or it stood the same or it went down? It's not going to increase. So either it stood the same or it went down. Because you got two motherfucking losses, my nigga. You done lost to Porter already and you done lost to, to Keith Thurman already, bro. So you getting a, a, a chance at the fucking belt, that's number one. And you getting a chance of $3 million plus that you ain't never made in your career, that is a fucking prize, right? And Angel Garcia discussed that shit with Danny Garcia. And before that, um, um, Angel Garcia could even tell him how much money it was, that nigga said no. I am not going to get in there with Terrence Bud Crawford because this man would fuck me up. So his drunk ass father, right? Instead of his drunk ass father, tell Danny Garcia that you lost to motherfucking Keith Thurman and you lost to motherfucking Sean Porter and you lost to Errol Spence Jr. This man makes excuses for his son. He don't tell his son that, son, you're just not good enough or I'm just a drunk ass motherfucking trainer and a drunk ass motherfucking father so I can never tell you the truth. If you don't tell your, your son that he lost and you make excuses for him losing, how the fuck is he gonna get better? How is he gonna get better? They say if it's not broken, don't fix it. And obviously Danny Garcia is fucking broken because he lost all his major fights. And I don't know if this motherfucker got his fucking, um, promote a hat on or some shit, but this, there's no way the interviewer asks us, man, what happens in the, what happens in the fight between Terrence Ball Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. And this man starts sounding off on Terrence Ball Crawford, talking about he can't sell tickets and talking about how Porter wasn't the same fighter, repeating everything that the LDBC says, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Repeating every motherfucking thing the LDBC says. So it's evident that this drunk fucker be online and, and, and be listening to interviews from the fucking ops. That's what I call them, the ops. Because they're the fucking ops. They don't ever talk about nothing that makes sense. They just dick ride Errol Spence Jr. So this man basically... It's trying to discredit Terrence Ball Crawford the whole career once again, just like what the LDBC does. So it's nothing different about these fuck niggas. That's why I call the PBC pussy bitches cunts. That's what the PBC stands for. Pussy bitches cunts. Because these motherfuckers over there, bro, they're very, very fucking shady. This man just said that Errol Spence Jr. doesn't need Terrence Bud Crawford. What? So you're basically saying that Errol Spence Jr. doesn't need Undisputed. That's what you're saying, right? The same way how you had Mr. Danny Garcia duck Victor Postal, the original boogeyman, at 140, vacated his belt, tried to give this guy step aside money to not fight Victor Postal. Y'all know I'm going to talk my shit. Y'all know it's Mr. Cleanup Gang. Y'all know I'm here, bro. Y'all know I'm here. I don't miss nothing at all. Y'all know that already, bro. You feel me? So this man is saying that Errol Spence Jr. being undisputed does not fucking matter. 
right? It does not matter. Just like Danny Garcia was asked who he wants to fight, right? And this is what Danny Garcia said. On who possibly it could be against or what, what type of fight, like a tune-up fight no, before you get one of those big names or I didn't straight speak, to the big name? I didn't speak no names yet. Right. But um, I would love to fight Thurman again. I would love to fight Cal Brook. Crawford, I like to, maybe? I would love to fight um, uh, 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 Mikey Garcia or potentially a Crawford fight. Right. Not next, but we that that's a big fight because we have a history. And I feel like um, he, needs, he needs somebody like me. So you heard Danny Garcia said he'd rather fight Keith Thurman twice, right? <laughs> and he'd rather fight Carol Book, the same Carol Book people gave Terrence Book Crawford the hell to fight. Right? And then he says he wants to fight Mikey Garcia. The same Mikey that lost his last fight at 147 and said that he's moving down to 140. And then when he was asked about Terrence Bud Crawford, he says that is a potential fight. Or maybe a Crawford fight. That's a potential fight. That spoke volume. He wants nothing to do with Terrence Bud Crawford. You rather fight Keith Thurman twice. You rather fight a washed up Kell Brook. That's what y'all call him. You rather fight Mikey Garcia, the 140 pounder. And then Terrence Bud Crawford, the only man out of those guys that has a belt, it's a potential fight. It's just to show you guys something. Do not mention Terrence Crawford name Angel Drunk Garcia. He's on one, he's on something, and it's very evident. Mikey Garcia, Keith Thurman, Kel Brook, but Terrence Bud Crawford is the potential fight, and that's the last. He's the only one with the belt. He's the only one that's on top of the world right now. He's the only one that's in his own class out of all of these fighters. But you want Terrence Bud Crawford last? you rather fight Keith Thurman twice? What is that going to do for your career? What is Kel Brook going to do for your career? What is Mikey Garcia is going to do for your career? Because I know you're not talking about Mikey Garcia selling out anything because Mikey Garcia has only been on one pay-per-view. So I know you're not talking about Mikey Garcia. I know you're not talking about Thurman. Thurman that just lost. To Manny Pacquiao and beat Barrios, almost got almost got stopped by Barrios by a body shot. I know you're not talking about none of them guys. That's gonna help your career. So just to show you that, Angel Drunk Garcia is just talking out his ass. He's talking out his ass, and he's just like the rest of these fans, and he's just like the PBC. It's no, they're just like the LDBC. It's nothing different. They want to throw dirt on Terrence Bo Crawford's name for no reason. For no reason. They still mad that Terrence Bo Crawford did not sign on the PBC. I don't know what it is. I guess he's talking this bad about Terrence Bo Crawford so Al Heyman will still keep Danny Garcia in consideration. Because let's be honest, Danny Garcia has been a failure in the welterweight division. So I don't understand why is he moving up to 154 to go get his ass whooped when 154, none of these guys are even playing with him. None of these guys are going to play with Danny Garcia at 154. They got Fortuna, they got Harrison, they got Charlo, they got all these guys at 150. They even got um Laura. Like he's not gonna survive at 154. So he runs from one 147, runs from Terrence Bo Crawford from 147, his whole damn career, and Terrence Bo Crawford is a potential fight. So I don't take Angel Garcia serious. He's just a drunk meth head, like what Terrence Bo Crawford said. And it's sad that all these PBC guys, when they're in front of the mic and they're asked about the Crawford and the Spence fight, they say something to try to discredit Terrence Bo Crawford and try to make Terrence Bo Crawford look bad. Don't you see the blueprint? Don't you see that you ain't here? Hank Lundy just said, oh, Terrence Bo Crawford, um, if he fights a guy that's, that's big and, and that's pressure, he's, um, I'm, I'm leaning towards Spence. You hear this man was asked how the fight is going to turn out. He's talking about Terrence Bo Crawford can't sell no tickets and Terrence Bo Crawford fought a, a Sean Porter that was out one foot out the door. 
But Sean Porter, bro, I could keep going with, with videos after the videos. Sean Porter saying that he was thinking about retiring after the Spence fight. So you're telling me he had a one foot in and one foot out? I could keep going with evidence just to debunk everything that these niggas be saying, bro. None of these niggas want to fight Terrence Bo Crawford, bro. All these niggas are jealous and all these niggas are mad because Terrence Bo Crawford made so much money and he was not with top rank. That's why they're mad. And they, was, they spent their whole career running from this man, bro. But, but y'all can sneak this. Because when Danny Garcia seen Terrence Bo Crawford, and Terrence Bo Crawford pulled up on him and said, I'm going to whoop your ass. He didn't have that same energy that he had talking about he, Terrence Will Crawford needs him. He didn't have that same energy. He looked very timid and he looks very scared when Terrence Will Crawford pulled up on him. But Angel Garcia got all the, the mouth in the world to sit here and try to throw dirt on this man's name. And I guarantee you, if Terrence Will Crawford is in front of him, he would not say none of the shit that he's saying. So I'm done with these guys, man. Like, boxing is a very sad sport. Like, these, instead of these guys fight, they talk and they say, oh, I want to fight this guy, but they never get in the ring. And that's the PBC blueprint, right? This nigga saying that he, Ter Terrence Crawford is a potential fight, but he's never going to fight Terrence Bo Crawford. Tank said, oh, he wants to fight Devin Haney, but he's never going to fight Devin Haney. Earl Spence Jr. said he's going to make the fight happen with Terrence Bo Crawford, but the fight is still taking long. They say it's going to happen in November. I will see. We'll see. Don't believe it until these guys actually get in the ring. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all leave a like. Make sure y'all share this video if y'all enjoy this content. That's all I got for y'all. I'm out. Salud! Hey, hey. What do you think about this fight? Danny, who we got to talk to to make this fight happen? Right now, I'm just enjoying life.